What's up everyone, I'm Natalie Rosella. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Today I'm gonna to share with you how I sharpen my photos in Photoshop. And straight off the bat, I don't use any sharpening tools. I layer my photos and add different blending modes to give it a sharpening effect. They're not difficult steps, but they are quite tedious if you're gonna do them to the majority or all of your photos. So what I did was I created a Photoshop action that takes all these steps and you can download it, load it up onto your Photoshop actions click one button and it'll apply everything step by step and then you can decide for yourself which steps you want to eliminate and which ones you want to keep and which ones you want to accentuate down the line. It's something I'm pretty excited about. I've never shared one of my actions before but it's part of what I want to put together in my RP action pack which I'll make freely available. They're going to be for free because these are steps that you could easily do by yourself and if you really wanted to you could create these actions as well. So you can have them for free and if you use these functions, they will drastically reduce your workflow time. So let's check it out in Photoshop. Right, folks, here's a photo that we have that I've opened up in Photoshop. It's a raw photo, so we've got the camera raw editor that's opened it straight off the bat. And I've already added my own edits to this to make this as quick as possible. They were very basic edits and we'll just open it up in Photoshop. One of the first things you want to do is just take away or remove any spots that you may have so you can use the spot healing brush obviously this is totally dependent on you and your workflow not everyone does this as i'm sure you'll probably guess this spot healing part of the tutorial doesn't come included in the action pack because each photo is obviously different and they won't all require the same type of spot healing right so we've got that so what I like doing is I work in layers and this way I can make steps so I can make changes step by step and if I find down the line that I didn't like something that I did I can just remove that particular layer or that step instead of worrying about having baked everything into one picture and then hating yourself. So how you do this on a PC is shift Control alt n that'll give you a new layer and what I want to do is stamp whatever is in the layer below whether it's got a bunch of changes already or just that original background one. So you just shift control alt E and that stamps whatever is below onto the top and everything that you apply is on this layer. Now the first step in the sharpening process is I add some contrasty punch and different photographers or different editors sometimes do this after the sharpening process but I like doing it before because I like applying the sharpening effect to the punchy version of the photo. So in order to do this, we want to give it a blur. So go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Mine set to five. Then you want to set this blending mode to soft light. That's already added quite a punch. And I can tell by how this looks now that for this particular photo, I'm not going to keep this in my final photo because I actually like the dynamic range or the illusion of dynamic range I have in the unsoft lighted photo but i'm going to use this for the sharpening so now i want to add my so-called sharpen effect to this entire new photo so shift Control alt n for new layer but we want to stamp this shift Control alt e and what we're going to do to this is we're going to desaturate it so shift Control u and we're going to set the blending mode to overlay if we now go to filter other high pass, we have now added the sharpening effect. So let's go check out the sunglasses. Here we go. If we remove that, look at the sunglasses or the hair, you can see how that really has sharpened up the photo. But like I mentioned a few minutes ago or a few seconds ago, a few moments ago, this step that I added with adding that punch, I'm not gonna keep it in this photo. It usually works. In a lot of photos, this works, but for this particular one, it doesn't. So I'm keeping it out. And when you run your own, you can decide for yourself if you wanna keep it or not. Different photos call for different effects. And an edge in Photoshop is an area where sudden change in brightness occurs in neighboring pixels and essentially makes light lighter and dark darker at that perceived edge. And our brain perceives this as an increase in sharpness. And what the high pass filter does is it essentially allows us to find these edges. It's basically a sharpening tool in Photoshop. I keep mine at around three because I don't want to include more than four neighboring pixels at the edge width. You generally want to keep this radius to a minimum. And if you see over here, if you take this all the way down to zero, 
the sharp edge isn't really sharp anymore. And if you take it all the way up, it starts picking up on everything and therefore it really defeats the purpose of this edge detecting slash sharpening filter. So 3.5 is a stable default, I find. Okay. Now, I don't particularly like how sharp the details in her nose are anymore. And I'm going to do a little bit of cheating. So I pressed L for the lasso tool, which is this one over here. And I'm just going to delete some of these parts of the photo that I think would benefit from staying less sharp or more smooth. And just for interest sake, this is what the sharpening layer looks like. And as you can tell in the background, there is some sharpening that has been applied to the background. And if you want to increase that shallow depth of field look, you can go ahead, use a lasso tool and just delete this area over here. It probably won't make much of a difference, but it won't hurt to just remove that so that you've only sharpened the regions of the photo that you want sharpened. There we go. And as mentioned before, I am removing this punch step over here for this particular photo because I prefer the dynamic range that I get without it. Now, as you can imagine, this is quite tedious to do over and over again, which is why I created an action for this particular set of steps. And I'm going to show you how you can upload that into your Photoshop so that you can just push one button, all these steps get done, and then you can decide whether you want to remove certain layers or keep certain layers or even accentuate different layers to make it more sharp less sharp more punch less punch go ahead and download the action which is in my action pack set which i have linked below save it into whichever folder you want to save it in right and in photoshop what you want to do is go to a window and click on actions and it'll show up over here and as you can see, these are default actions over here which come with Photoshop. And I've created my own action folder over here. You can create your own action folder by clicking this button over here if you wish. And as you can see, I've got my sharpened one over here. But let's say for interest sake that I want to upload a new one. So you've already downloaded and saved your action. Go into this corner over here. Load actions. And hypothetically speaking, let's say this is the action that you have downloaded click it load and because it's the same set of exact same sets of actions that I have it's given it the same name but essentially you'll find it in here sharpen RP you can see there are all the steps that come with it and let's close this up make sure your sharpen action or whichever action you want to apply is selected and push play and there you see it's done the exact same thing that we did before. Take it away, you've got a better dynamic range and you've got the exact same. Right, and that's how I sharpen my photos in Photoshop. It's tedious, as I said, but if you just use the actions, it's pretty easy and quite fun, actually, when you start playing around with what you remove or what you add and what you duplicate. I hope you found this helpful and I'll catch you in the next video.